Have you told them about these yet? Not yet. And he stops me in the middle of the book. He's like, Peter, never do that again. <laughs> Pretty great. Oh, Ollie. Oh, Ollie boy, people think you're such a toy, but I'm telling you, he's a real dog. A really real dog. Peter just came down the stairs, and I guess he saw this from halfway up the stairs. I did, and I like it. It makes me feel like it is the start of birthday week. <laughs> it was supposed to be like 90s motif. That definitely seems 90s, which is appropriate because it's Mary's birthday week starting today. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's one week till your birthday. That's exciting. Actually, it's less than a week till your birthday. Let's go see if the cactus has a... A birthday flower for Is me. Is it a birthday cactus? So we have a Christmas cactus. Is we, a... oh, it's bigger, oh. but not yet. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> have you told them about these yet? Not yet. Oh my goodness. All right, we've had these cacti for almost two years now. This guy, this guy, and this guy. Which, is this what you were telling me about the other day? Uh, Cause no. Cause I just noticed this. I know, I was noticing yeah. that guy. Yeah. So these three, which we had more like smaller ones, like this one. Um, we had more like this one that were smaller, but they all died. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They've never grown flowers. We see pictures on Instagram of people who have these kind of cacti and they bloom them a flower once or twice a year and ours has never had flowers. And now it has four. We're told they only bloom for about one day. So this one, who knows, maybe it'll open up on my birthday. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be amazing. Who knows, it looks like it could like time out. Ah! You just backed into the cactus. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. The little sunflower is still going strong. It looks a little sad. Maybe we should give it some water. Okay. Ollie wants some water too. <laughs> we continue to have tomatoes galore. Yes. More that are coming. Amazing. It's been 106 degrees outside, like the feels like temperature. And it's been kind of crazy. Kind of warm outside, but nice. It's really, we need we're okay to, with it. Thankful uh, for Air conditioning though, for sure. We need to what? Pick up prescriptions from the pharmacy. Yes. And I... Oh, that's the yes! best. Oh man, he really did quite the yawn with that. <laughs> <He> went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, talked with, I scheduled with the neurology, uh, neurology office because I think I've mentioned to you guys that I'd like to switch off of Imgality. I, I have somewhat of a reaction and I'm on preventative Benadryl every time I have a dose of Imgality. So, yeah. It's not, it doesn't make my throat scratchy or anything, but it's, it's yeah, it's an odd kind of reaction. So. I will be glad to switch off of that. So I have an appointment scheduled as of yesterday, I think, two days ago. Uh, they called and scheduled me with a neurologist and I'm hoping to switch before my next Imgality dose. So that's not one that's being filled today, right? Uh, no. Okay. Let's go get them. I feel, I feel weird, like shaky. Um, and like weak or weird feeling. I think it's just one of those like times during the day where my body just needs like, I just need a kick in the pants. Okay. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna eat my banana popsicle and we can go pick up prescriptions. That'll be a real kick in the pants. Oh, this is kind of fun. Yesterday we were at the thrift store and we found this puzzle. We had a little four-year-old over this morning and we completed the puzzle with him. And it was really fun. Quality puzzle right there for $2. We looked it up on Amazon and it was 20 bucks on Amazon. That's $18 savings. <laughs> oh, I have something else to report. Late last night, wait, was that last night? What? At Walmart? Uh, two, two nights ago. We went to Walmart and for once, in months, they have been out of these glucose tabs and they had them. I jumped for joy and they had one bottle of grape. Anyway, I got what I could and Mary's a happy girl. I think I see why I feel a little shaky. Speaking of glucose tabs, perfect. When our little friend was here today, Peter was going to take his normal morning walk with Ollie, and so he got to use our umbrella stroller. Super fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Blood sugar. It's really fun to have kids' books in our house and puzzles and be able to use them while we wait for our own child to use these items. Super fun. Yeah. I even read our little buddy this morning. We, I read him a book in the nursery in the rocking chair. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty cute. Mary and I were just observing how much we love this book wall of these bookshelves that a friend got for us and it's just so magical and just imagining our child <laughs> going over there and picking out a book to read at night. I'm reminded that my college education prepared me for this. <laughs> <laughs> because one of the classes I took in college was, what was it? It was called oral interpretation. Vocal dynamics? No, I think it was just called oral interpretation, which was a fancy way to describe reading children's books because that's all we did in that class was read children's books and practice with vocal dynamics and it was part of like my training for preaching but it was also very practical training to be a father. In what ways did it prepare you for preaching or that sort of thing? <clears throat> well how to um, interpret what you're reading not just by the words you're saying, but by the way you're saying them. And so, thinking through, yeah, like in preaching, it's not just what I say, but it's how I say it, and what I read, but how I read it, and how the dynamics of my voice, and my facial expressions, and my movements, are all part of the interpretation and communication process. And it gets me real fired up. And so I'm excited. In fact, one of our children's books that I think is downstairs, I bought for that class. I remember we went to... Um, yeah, do you remember where we got it? Oh. I do. It's like something station or like... Yep. Something yep. something... Merchandise Mart. Yes! It's a stop on the brown line so in Chicago. Weird. And we went to this like... Merchandise What was that store? It was like a kid's bookstore, I think. I think so. And I bought Danny and the Dinosaur. And remember what your prof told you? Yeah. <laughs> I think we talked about this recently, or sometime. I remember telling the vlog about this, but... So I get into class, I'm ready to read Danny and the Dinosaur, and I come to the woman's voice, and I go into a falsetto, and he stops me in the middle of the book. He's like, Peter, never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Can you show one of my favorite parts, the welcome sign? Ah, uh, yes. This sign on our nursery door was left. No. This oh. was a gift. Oh, it was a gift. Yeah, this was a gift. Are you thinking of the North Carolina sign? No, there's a sign that she left in our bathroom, I think. No, I put that there. 
there. Oh. That's a sign I that was given to me. That's for funny. This house, and I put it in the bathroom. I thought I oh, thought the previous left. owner left that for us. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, I uh, got it from the bathroom and put it on the baby door. I love it. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. What do you think, Carrie? Is this exciting? So exciting. Camera never wants to focus on your face. I wonder why. Daddy, hold me. You need snugs? Oh, oh Daddy, sure. hold me. Oh, sure. That was the cutest. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. He's what standing he... all the way. Is... Oh, no. What's he doing? I don't know what he's planning on doing. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. I don't think you should go up there, buddy. As always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Oh boy.